Well, my friends are here from the American Legion. Uh, Matt Selmeyer is here, Greg Nordyke. I'm glad that you're here today. Thank you. Um, I want to remind folks because the American Legion, I, I want y'all to come every month because I don't want people to forget about our American Legion and what y'all do. And I really, it's important. And so Matt, will you tell us, just remind people about our American Legion because we really have a great one here yes, in Amarillo. We, we have a great one. We, we're trying to b build a new building on North Louisiana and Amarillo Boulevard. We're trying to get new people in. We want people to join our group so we can get bigger and better to yeah. serve people in the Amarillo area and uh, yeah. the Panhandle area. Now, tell me, what is the difference? Like American Legion, does it matter what branch you serve? Do you have to be, are there certain conditions to be a member of our American Legion? No, yeah, there's conditions. You have to have served one day in the, in the military and you have to have a DD-214. Okay. Which is, that gets you out of the service. Oh, got you, got you. Now, you and I were talking, and I forget this, you served 40 years yes, in the Army. Yes. And so are you from here, yes. Matt? Th this is your home? And yes. then and then you tell us a little bit about your service. Well, I enlisted in 1972 in August, went to Fort Ord, California for my basic in AIT, and then went to Fort Carson for a couple of years, and then went to Europe for three years, which I enjoyed extremely. Really? Yes, ma'am. Man, just serving and, and being and taking that time important to you. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, serious. Take it serious. In fact, you did a lot of reserve time. Yes. And and for you, what was that? Was it, you know, I want to serve, and, I, and I'm sure having a family and, and being a, a Texas guy, mm -hmm. um, but there's pride in that. Yes, ma'am, there the is. I, I enjoyed every, every minute of it because you go, when you go to different posts, you meet different people, enjoy their company and sure. camaraderie with everybody. Sure. Greg, tell us about your uh, service. You served five years. Five years active duty. I went in in 81, got out in 87. I started out as a combat medic. Oh, wow. I was with the 101st Airborne with the Peacekeeping Force in 83 when the Marines were bombed in Beirut. Oh my goodness. So I was involved with that. And when we got back, I went to the practical nurse course the Army has and worked in the burn unit for the oh. last two and a half years. You saw a then lot. when I got out, got my RN. I'm actually a retired nurse. Oh, RN. good, good. Talking about that earlier. And Yay. I do have a degree from WT. Oh my goodness. Nurse. Listen, they're, they're having their <laughs> kind of a scholarship fundraiser this, this yeah. coming up May 3rd. So that is yeah. so neat. And uh, tell us what you did in, in the Army. I didn't even ask. I did a lot of different things. I was a personal record specialist in Europe and took, uh, did record keeping for all the troops that were stationed in Europe. And I came back to Fort, Fort Ord, or no, Fort Seal, and did the same thing. I was in processing gotcha. uh, personnel, in process people from all over the country to Fort Seal. And, well, then I, and then I did, then I got promoted. Every time I got promoted, my jo jobs changed a little sure, bit. So. Sure, sure, <laughs> sure. Well, we're proud of your service. And, and I really want people to keep their, keep being patriotic. I don't want anyone to lose that. And I know that that's the way that y'all feel. We have to keep being patriotic. And I just, I don't want people to lose that. Mm -hmm. I, I feel it's important and I want our young people to know. Y'all have car shows, y'all have raffles. Tell us a little bit because we've, we've talked about this gun raffle that's gonna happen this summer. I'll let you do that. We're raffling off a Japanese Type 44 Arisaka. It was Ooh. made between 1911 and 1939, somewhere in that period. Oh my goodness. It was made for cavalry. Right. Not cut back from a longer rifle. They designed it for horseback. So gotcha. It handy, it's a little shorter. A lot shorter. Yeah. A lot lighter. Has a built-in bayonet on it so they couldn't lose it either. Oh. During fighting. So, uh, they used it quite well with horse cavalry. People are really interested in this gun. Wherever you take it to do, you know, your, your raffles to get people signed up. I mean, people are interested in this. This is a big fundraiser for y'all, and we want people to to be able to come and see it. And, it's done well. And, and register for it. 
Um, and then we have a car show that's coming well, up? There's a car show this weekend at uh, First United Bank on 45th and Sonsi. Okay. And there's another car show next weekend for uh, Gene, Messer. Gene Messer. It's the Mustang Car Show. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Listen, our, we, our area Mustang Club is so cool. They really do some big things. And yes. so I'm so glad that y'all are going to be there and, and uh, showing people and, and really getting people informed about our American Legion. If people want to be a member, they want to donate, maybe uh, there's something in their heart that says, hey, we'd love to do a month to month gift. Because with a new building coming, I mean, y'all really would take that. Yeah, we yes. would. How can uh, we get a hold of y'all? Well, I don't know the phone number, but we, our P.O. box is 404. Gotcha. I'm going to write that down. 404. 79101. Uh, 79101. Yeah. Okay. And just put our American Legion. American Legion on it, yes. Yeah. And a 54. Yes. Well, listen, don't worry. We, we can get phone numbers and put that on later. But I, it's just so important that y'all come and talk about our American Legion. And I'm excited about the building. And, uh, you know, y'all had a big... Uh, uh, not a grand opening, but you know, kind of a the ground um, groundbreaking. groundbreaking. Yes. Thank you. Uh, and I, I just think people need to not forget about our American Legion. So important. Yes. Will y'all come back next yes. month and, yes, and continue yes, to tell will. us? Yes, we will. I know that gun raffle is going to be uh, this summer. It'll be 31st of July. Ooh, okay. Okay, so there's still time to get in. There's two months to go, yes, ma'am. And, and still, big, big fundraiser for mm -hmm. the American Legion here. Yes. Yep. I'm so Appreciate I'm so thankful y'all came and and keep coming and let's keep we talking. Enjoy, we enjoy coming. Like well, coming. good, good. I'm so glad.